Friends, it's Poetic with Dave the Diver again. A non-competing menu diversity. So this is every five days. You can see here I've gotten different mails about a festive event of some kind that's going to be happening. Whether it's uh, for dishes that are about sharks or dishes that feature cucumbers or dishes for curry also turmeric will fall under this curry uh curry party tuna lobster etc when you're building your menu uh then you can see here these little pink bow ties in the lower left hand corner are for the upcoming party these are going to be high dollar items with non-competing diversity, you want to focus on one item. I would recommend focusing on just one for each of the different festivals as they occur. So for this curry festival, I just finished leveling up this humphead parrotfish curry, which I can serve. I've also got been building this Atlantic Bonito uh, curry. And you can see here I've got a bunch of different dishes that are at level 9, between levels 5 and level 9. I didn't understand something that I, I, I would like for you to understand so you can save time, and that is the idea of non-competing diversity. So when you're building up your menu, you do want to focus on one dish for each of these festivals, but you also want dishes that are not in competition for the same resources. For example, it was really tough. I was trying to level this black vinegar braised parrotfish and this vegetable sushi at the same time. Well, you can see both of them require carrots. And to get to max level, both require hundreds of carrots. So I really ended up shooting myself on the foot because I was trying to level them all equally shouldn't have done that should have just focused on one at a time maxed it out and then moved to the second one so in terms of carrots at least for me what has made the most sense was to level up the vegetable sushi first and then level up this parrot fish second and then level up this At atlantic bonito curry third I'm okay uh, for the curry festival that's coming up because I already have this uh, humphead parrotfish curry maxed out and I can just serve that. But uh, I believe the week before was lobster. And again, this is a mistake I ran into. I didn't snowball it. I could have made a lot more money if I had thrown all my habanero peppers into leveling up the stir-fried habanero lobster. But... I was also trying to level this hot pepper tuna at the same time. And you can see it's competing for resources, right? Habanero here, habanero here. Snowballing makes it a lot easier. Just level up one of the dishes for each festival at a time. So uh, I managed to level up these. And you can see um, these fish... This egg and this bladder rack don't compete with this. They don't compete with this. They don't compete with this. 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 Or this, right? I was able to put all of my resources into leveling up this pufferfish dumpling soup with the eggs and the bladder rack. Now that that is done, I can serve a few of these every night and make over 1500 per serving. But I can also start to invest those eggs and bladder rack into different dishes, which is what I'm doing here. I'm investing the bladder rack into this moonlight bladder rack roll. And the eggs, I'm able to invest into this steamed eastern rock lobster and egg. And you can see both of these have, have – they're almost to max level, but this happened a lot faster than, say, the braised parrotfish the, and the vegetable sushi and the Atlantic Benito curry because I finally 
realized how the game worked and just st uh, snowballed it. I invested all of my eggs and bladder rack into this pufferfish dumpling soup, maxed it out. Now I'm investing all of my eggs into the steamed Easter rock lobster and egg and all the, the bladder rack into this moonlight bladder rack roll. And there's non-competing diversity here. Um, all these ingredients are different than all these ingredients. These ingredients and spices are different than these ingredients and spices. And this what this uh, lobster platter, all these lobsters are different than uh, the crabs or the lobsters that are used in other dishes. I'm just leveling, snowballing one dish at a time uh, with one particular resource. So here's another example. Like I was leveling up this Trevoli sandwich, but you can see here, even when it's at max level 10, it's only 1100. It's not that great. Uh, definitely don't think it's worth 115 cucumbers. Uh, I didn't unlock this one, the seasoned Waptia fieldensis, until later. But look at this. It's only level 6, and it's already worth more than the level 9. So I'm going to invest my cucumbers into this one instead of this one. But yeah, non-competing diversity, snowball... Pick one dish for each festival, whether, uh, I'll show you here on the phone and the calendar. It's, I think it's randomized which party you get. I'm not sure. Maybe it follows this order. But the game starts out, ignore those. For the, me, the game started out with jellyfish. I couldn't really level up jellyfish very much. But next was tuna, then marlin, then sharks, then curry. So leveling up one dish for each of those festivals enabled me to gain uh, tens of thousands of dollars more than I would have if I'd just been offering a level one dish. So snowball with non-competing diversity in your menu, and you will be making tens of thousands of dollars much sooner. Hope this helps.